Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Faraz Ahmed, and today I am welcoming you people from Pakistan. I am at my home today. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about a very important station which can come in your exam as a Simmen station, and that is acute limb ischemia. This is a pure emergency station and you have to take a very little history in this and after taking the little history please start A, B, C, D, E approach because along with the acute limb ischemia a patient can have some other features as well like patient can have feature of the pulmonary embolism as well. So please make sure that you are going to ask the past medical history and past medication history in this type of station. Patient will have definitely some uh, you know uh, arrhythmias problem of the heart like patient could have the atrial fibrillation in the past and patient will be taking some medication so please make sure that you are going to ask the uh, presenting complaint and along with the presenting complaint you are going to ask past medical history in this station so let's move to the screen when you will enter the room so first of all what you have to do you have to introduce yourself with the examiner you will say hello i am dr ahmed my gmc number is 7808812345 whatever your gmc number is you will loudly verbalize to the examiner so after doing this you have to make sure that you are a safe doctor and you are maintaining the privacy so how you will uh, make sure that you are a safe doctor you will loudly say examiner assume i have taken all the universal precautions this means that you are a safe doctor because you are assuming all the universal precautions so after saying this after maintaining the safety you will move toward the you, a patient that is your semen you will introduce yourself and you will acknowledge the patient like uh, in acutely ischemia patient patient will be in severe pain so you have to acknowledge this so let me tell you that how you will introduce yourself with your patient and how you will acknowledge you can say hello it's ahmad one of the doctor at this department uh, i can see that you are not comfortable because patient is in the pain definitely patient will not be comfortable so you have to acknowledge this so acknowledgement is very important so then you will say could you please confirm your full name and age for me patient can say adam 45 like any name patient can say all right so after doing this so you have introduced yourself you have acknowledged the situation of your patient and now you have to start history you have to start talking with the patient you can say please tell me what exactly happened okay patient will tell you pain in right leg doctor pain in right leg so when patient will say about the pain you have to complete the socrates like you have to uh, you know ask about sight onset corrector radiation aggravating factor relieving factor uh, okay and you have to ask about the severity and the score of the patient as well please never ever for uh, you know forget to ask the score so this was all about the right leg please compare you have to ask please tell me what about the other leg and then you have to ask had it uh, before do you have this type of uh, pain in the past or not and then you will ask is there any history of trauma recently because trauma could be a cause of pain in the leg now please keep in mind that patient is having the pain in the right leg this could be due to acute limb ischemia and acute limb ischemia could be due to atrial fibrillation and due to atrial fibrillation there could be some clot so now you have to rule out pulmonary embolism as well so for pulmonary embolism you will ask do you have any chest pain patient can say no doctor uh, do you have any shortness of breath at this moment any heart racing you can ask your patient and after this you can ask any weakness anywhere in your body no so still uh, you have to ask about that any travel history are you living a, a mobile lifestyle or sedentary lifestyle then you have to ask about the mma this is very very important medication past medical history and allergic history and apart from this smoking history are very very important in acute limb ischemia station so what could be the uh, you know past medical history uh, in past medical history you can ask and when you will ask patient will say doctor i am a diagnosed case of atrial fibrillation so then you have to ask how you are managing are you regular with the medication or not 
so when you will ask about the smoking patient can give you the history like doctor i am taking 20 cigarettes 30 cigarettes 40 cigarettes uh, a day for uh, 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 last 20 30 40 years so you have taken all the relevant history in this way you will take the history so now what you have to do you have to go for the a b c d e approach and before going you will say verbalize this madam i am going to assess you it will include look feel tab listen to different parts of your body please be assured a member of medical team is with me and he is acting as a chaperone and we are maintaining your privacy so here you have maintained safety uh, in the start and here you have maintained the privacy of the patient so what happened in the normal life in the normal life it is your duty you are a doctor it is your duty to attach your patient with the monitor but here in the exam your patient your simian will all will be attached to the monitor so you will look at the monitor and after looking at the monitor you have to acknowledge this as well so how you can acknowledge i can see my patient is attached to the monitor so i am directly starting a b c d e approach so this is the acknowledgement that uh, my patient is attached to the monitor so here here patient is having the pain in the leg patient is talking to you definitely in this scenario airway will be the patent and you will have you have to verbalize this uh, like as my patient is talking to me so I assume that airway is patent so when you will look at the oxygen it will be normal and so directly you will move toward the B so in the B part it will be normal as well but in some cases there could be some heart murmur so what you have to do in the B you have to auscultate the chest okay auscultation of the chest is very important in acute limb ischemia station uh, in most of the cases there will be no murmur but sometimes there could be murmur in the heart so then you will move toward the C this is important part here you will say Adam I am going to pinch your finger okay I am going to take your pulse and blood pressure so please please keep in mind you have to feel the pulse at least for at least at least for five seconds because in the cement you will easily feel that pulse is irregularly irregular okay blood pressure will be the normal and when you will feel the pulse it will be irregularly irregular and when you will feel for five seconds you can easily appreciate this that pulse is irregularly irregular and when you will see at the monitor on the monitor pulse will also be irregularly irregular so then what you will do i am going to insert one large bore iv cannulas and i will take the some blood for the routine blood investigations so then what you have to do you have passed the one large bore iv cannula and you have ask about the pain score in the history so depending upon the pain score you have to give painkiller to your patient depending upon the pain score if the pain score is eight or more than eight please give morphine directly pain score is 8 or more than 8 give morphine if pain score is less you have to start with a paracetamol all right so after doing this what we will do we will move toward the d and d is the deformity over here in the d what we have to do we have to check the blood blood sugar and temperature and after doing this as patient is having the pain in the leg so we have to say this as well uh, like uh, can you move your right leg for me patient will move the right leg and then you will say uh, can you move the other leg for me as well patient will move the leg there will be no problem with the mobility in these cases so exposure is very very important in acute limb ischemia station in the exposure uh, there is no importance of exposure of private area and exposure of tummy but you what you will do i am going to expose your tummy and private area you will quickly expose and you will have a look within 10 to 15 seconds and directly you will move and then you will uh, expose the both of the legs and you will start from the normal leg that is left leg in this case so in the exposure you have to look and fail okay adam i am going to expose your leg so in the leg exposure you have to look and you have to feel so first of all what you will look you have to look for uh, any color change any redness any ulceration any rash and hair distribution after this you have to look for any trauma mark so you have to uh, look for these and you have to verbalize this that i am looking for any color change any redness any ulceration and any rashes on my patient leg and at the same time i am looking for hair distribution and trauma mark so after looking you have to feel and you have to feel for four things which things you have to feel 
because of the acute limb ischemia there could be the temperature differentiation so first of all you have to feel for temperature and then you will feel and you will ask are you feeling my hand on your leg so where there is acute limb ischemia there is clot patient will not feel your hand so what you have to do you have taken the temperature you will say are you feeling my hand then you will take the pulses so what you have to do first of all you have to start with the posterior tibial and dorsalis pedis pulses for example if you are not feeling the uh, dorsalis pedis pulse or the posterior tibial pulse you will move upward you have to start feeling the pulses from dist uh, distal end uh, uh, for example, if you are not feeling posterior tibial pulse, then you will move toward the, uh, this popliteal fossa and you will uh, uh, feel the popliteal pulse. If you are feeling popliteal pulse, don't go for femoral. If you are feeling one pulse, go, don't go for the proximal one. Okay. And after this, you, you have to feel for the edema. This is the fourth thing. Temperature, sensation, pulse and edema, you have to feel and you have to look for five or six things which I have mentioned and you have to feel for four things. So once you, uh, you have feel the legs of your patient and there is no peripheral pulses, for example, there is no posterior tibial pulse, what you have to do? You have to attach the oxygen without wasting any time you have to attach the oxygen in this case patient will have normal oxygen so in the b part or in the a part we have not attached the oxygen but once in the exposure we have have felt that our patient is uh, not having distal pulse so we will uh, you know attach the oxygen uh, to make sure that uh, tissue is not getting damaged because of the low oxygen so we will attach the oxygen and what we will do we will give the heparin 5 thousand units in the tummy of the patient and we have to verbalize this to our patient okay so after doing this we will again ask the patient how is your pain now patient will tell you doctor I am still having pain so you will ask can you please rescore your pain for me if patient says that like uh, previous score was 8 and you have given morphine and now patient says doctor uh, it's 6 now so it's mean patient pain is improving so now you will give what you will give the paracetamol and if previous score was 6 and now patient says that my pain is 8 so it's mean pain is getting worse so now you will give morphine okay if you have given morphine initially now you will give paracetamol if you have given paracetamol initially and now you will give morphine all right so now here uh, your examiner will definitely stabilize your patient so then uh, we will discuss about the uh, management plan with our patient so definitely as i have mentioned that patient will be stable over here so here what you will do you will explain the condition and management which you have done to your patient like you can say that as you presented to me with your leg pain we have assessed you everything is normal uh, there is no finding in your chest and we have feel the pulses and unfortunately uh, there is no pulse in your foot okay then you will say as your ECG and your pulse is showing that your heart is beating irregularly irregular so because of this irregular beat of the heart heart is sending blood clots and because of the obstruction of one of the you know artery of your leg you are not feel we are not feeling pulse in your foot so you have explained everything so you will say now we have given you the pain uh, painkiller for your pain and we have given you oxygen to reduce the injury to your tissue and we have given the blood thinning medication as well so after this what we will do we will admit our patient we will involve the senior and we will involve the cardiologist as well so here we have to verbalize about the further investigation which further investigation we have to verbalize about the heart attack markers plotting profile and d dimer so this is very very important so if you want you can verbalize about uh, uh, like ctpa and doppler ultrasound as well doppler ultrasound of the leg and the ctpa to make sure that there is no clot in the chest in the you know uh, pulmonary arteries so we have to verbalize these further investigation so after verbalizing this you will say that we are going to refer you immediately to the vascular surgeon 
बिकॉज वास्कुलर सर्जन इज द बेस्ट डॉक्टर एट दिस मोमेंट हु कैन मैनेज यू दे कैन ट्रीट यू विद द मेडिकेशन एंड दे कैन ट्रीट यू आफ्टर गिविंग द मेडिकेशन दे विल ट्रीट यू विद द सर्जरी सो आफ्टर दिस आफ्टर वर्बलाइजिंग एंड आफ्टर एक्सप्लेनिंग एवरी थिंग वी हैव टू गिव एडवाइस रिगार्डिंग द लाइफ स्टाइल मॉडिफिकेशन एंड द सेफ्टी नेटिंग एज वेल लाइक सेफ्टी नेटिंग इन द सेफ्टी नेटिंग वी कैन से दैट वंस यूर ट्रीटमेंट इज डन यू आर स्टेबल एंड यू आर एट होम बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली इफ यू स्टे अगेन डिवेलप दिस टाइप ऑफ द पेन इन द लेक If you develop any shortness of breath, if you develop any chest pain, if you develop any body weakness, please call to 999 and come back to the emergency department. So this is the way. In this way, you have to done the acute limb ischemia station. And I am pretty sure that once you will do this type of station, you will attempt your acute limb ischemia segment station in this way. Please be assured, you will get maximum mark. Thank you very much.